everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy, and I am joined, as always, by the Minecraft. <gasps> oh, we already have one up here on the balcony. Okay, so guys, this is a very special episode of Dogcraft because this is my 100th episode, and I was going to say I'm joined, as always, by the Minecraft versions of my real life dogs, Paige and Molly. Uh, but anyway. Uh, it's been a hundred episodes of us uh, celebrating dogs and collecting dogs and rescuing dogs. And I thought, um, oh gosh, oh gosh, what happened to the bird? What, what's happening to the bird? The bird is glitched. Paige, don't eat the bird. Bird? Can I, can I put the bird on a lead? Oh, I don't have a lead. <gasps> there it is! Hi, birdie! Uh, anyway, so I thought, you know what? I am going to, uh, to really do something special, and I am going to add in some more animals. This is a modded series, after all, and so we've added in a few more animals. Now, don't worry, uh, it is actually a, uh, a controlled uh, kind of custom uh, set of animals, uh, so there's not going to be like an elephant walking, you know, by the, the splash pad, hopefully. Uh, it's going to add in things like birds and fish and... Uh, you know, anything that you would find in the forest around our home. You're loud, aren't you, birdie? You can find a nest, like, over, like, over there, maybe. Uh, anyway, uh, so, what to do on the hundredth episode? What to do? What should we do on the hundredth episode of Dogcraft? Oh, right! Bone Mountain! <laughs> That is right, we are going to go to Bone Mountain today and see if we can get a little bit more progress made. By the way, I switched back to a yellow bed. I feel like Aurora from Sleeping Beauty on my bed. I've got a yellow one and a pink one. And I go back and forth between, I want the yellow one. No, I want the pink one. No, I want the yellow one. I can't decide. Uh, anyway, I made a terrible error in the last episode, in our family portrait, and I forgot Pay oh! Pongo! Pongo, no! Uh, okay, let me, let me leash Pongo up. Anyway, as I was saying, I forgot Pongo, Perdita, uh, Paige, and Molly! I can't believe I did that! Pongo, can you, like, tell- oh, hi Pongo. Uh, great. Let's go ahead and sit milk toast down. I feel horrible uh, that I forgot Paige, Molly, Pongo, and Perdita. I can't believe I did it. It was just too many animals uh, to, to, to worry about. Um, by the way, do I have... Oh, I have some wood. I should try to make uh, a stair uh, because I do not want all of the dogs getting out of the Dalmatian plantation. That's where we're headed right now. Like we do in almost every episode, uh, we are going up there to breed a new little puppy. Are you guys coming? All right, come on up. Uh, and so let me see. If I just put down one of the stairs like here, then you guys should be able to come up and over without letting everyone out. <gasps> Perfect, guys! Okay, great. My goodness, it's getting crowded in here. So let me unleash you. And now Perdita's trapped in the floor. That's cool, Perdita. Come over here. Let me unleash you. I think I did it. And great. Now we can breed you guys. So there's Pongo. And then... Oh, wait. Where did, where did Perdita just go? Oh, here she is. There you go. And today we are going to be adding little puppy Rain. And that is because uh, Rin Rain sent me possibly one of my most favorite pieces of fan art I've ever received. I thought that it was so uh, thoughtful, uh, the amount of work that was put into it. And it was just so unique and creative. And I love those kinds of, uh, those kinds of artworks. And so this one really definitely... Uh, had a special place in my heart. It's from Shelter 2, where I play as a lynx, and uh, in the beginning of the episode, you are guided by the stars and the constellations to where you need to go to give birth to your cubs. I'll put a link for my uh, my first couple episodes. I think the first three episodes are up uh, of it already, and uh, I just really liked this. It's me, but it's it's I've got a purple stripe to top on because it's kind of working with the purple color scheme of the sky in the game. 
name and all of the constellations are like personal to me there was like i think a dog one and a milk one and a couple others and i just thought it was really really beautiful and a really gorgeous art style so thank you so much for sending that and welcome rain to the dalmatian plantation uh okay guys let me go ahead and actually did i ever even see puppy rain oh there you are hi rain uh, all right, so that was uh, number 78. We are getting close to 101, uh, of course, because we didn't start uh, adding Dalmatians right away. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this stair. Did they push you up here, Milk Toast? Do you want to be a Dalmatian? You have a good view right here, though. You can kind of keep an eye on the Tomcat Towers and... I mean, this is, it's in the sunlight, which I know Paige and Molly love to bask in the sun, so cats probably do too. I'll leave you there for now. I think you found a nice little perch. Um, all right, so I'd, I'd rather have you there than in my closet. Um, oh wait, where did Molly go? I just saw, there's Paige. This bird can't, can this bird not fly? Is this a dead bird? I mean, it's not dead, but is it, do I need to take it to the doctor? Hello, are you stuck? She's in your spot, Paige. There are sometimes that birds get glitched uh, in the fence here, birdie. Um, so there you go. Oh! Oh! Okay, I think it's okay. I don't know for sure. Um, and also, did I just lose a fence? Yes, I did. Oh, boy. We know what we have to do. Woo! Uh, I got the fence. And who are you? Perdita, no! You're still leading to me. How did this happen? Uh, all right, come back in. Uh, I'll just leave you up in my room. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you fall that whole way. I, I'm glad you're okay that you didn't die. Uh, all right, let's come up here. Come on up, Perdita. Uh, no, 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 Paige! Paige, Paige, you can come back from this. Let me put you on the lead. There you come. Here you go, over here. And then fence down. And then unlead Paige, unlead Perdita, look in the shaders to see if they're still leaded to me. It looks like they are not. And have we seen Molly? I feel like Molly's being a little sneaky. And she might have... Molly, you cannot be one of the Dalmatians. Alright, you can... I guess you can stay there for now. You can be an honorary Dalmatian for the 100th episode. I guess that's that's fine. Uh, oh, ooh, let's actually, yeah. Let's take a look at Bone Mountain uh, from up here. I feel like I've never really done that. Uh, this is a nice view up here of the dock and Bone Mountain. Okay, so this is going to be tricky and no promises. I'm not sure that we can accomplish it today. Uh, but we are going to do our best, Molly, uh, to try... Paige! How did you... Oh. I left the gate open. All right. So Paige and Molly, you guys are honorary Dalmatians today for the 100th episode. I guess everyone just wanted to be up here with the the Dalmatians. That's cool. That's fine. Uh, who's left here? Anyone? No, I'm all alone down here. Uh, and I think it's already getting nighttime. Let's go ahead and go to the art gallery before it gets too late and take a look at the art we've received since the last episode. In episode 99, we took a family photograph, although I forgot Paige, Molly, Pongo, and Perdita. This is one of the wolves explaining to Felicity why she can't be in the photo. Uh, this is a close-up of my little boy, Wink. This is from Noob Quest. I have a chicken who's obsessed with my cake. This is another one from Shelter with my cubs, Paw, Link, Lila, and Peach. This is from Ori in the Blind Forest. I believe I'm posting another episode uh, later this afternoon. And then I just wanted to thank everyone for buying my poster. So many of you bought one. It, it said it was sold out for a little bit, but it is back up now and available for purchase. And I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you guys for all the positive feedback. Whoops. Whoa, hello, hi guys. Uh, I wanted to, uh, actually wanted to quickly come upstairs and go to bed actually, uh, while we can still see the bone in the mountain. So that is our goal right there, to be able to go to sleep and see a bone. It's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. I would say it's about 25% complete right now. It needs to kind of curve here and then curve out a little bit more 
come up and over and then out again and out again. It's going to be tricky. Uh, but, you know, we will give it... We will give it our best shot. I don't think I'm going to be able to do even half of it on camera. I think even speeding it up, it'll be too long to speed up. It's going to take hours. Let's go ahead and get some supplies. I don't think there's really that much that we need. I have my pickaxe here. Uh, I have my lucky pickaxe, but we if we have stone, which I think we should. Uh, yep, we'll take... Let's bring... I mean, we're taking blocks away, not adding more, but let's just bring three stacks just in case. Uh, that should be good because uh, we should just need this diamond pickaxe. And then if we need to, we can make like another iron one or something. Um, all right, let's go ahead and grab a wolf to accompany us on our journey. And I think I know which one I will bring. I think it's got to be Everest. Everest, you are coming on our mountain expedition with me. Uh, come on, buddy. Come on, little boy. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Do you guys need... I want to pork chop you. <laughs> pork chop you. I'm going to pork chop you so you don't teleport to me uh, while we're building uh, the the Mount Everest. Let me just go ahead and get you guys all up to 120. Everest, there you go. One for you. Uh, 96. Addison, 120. And then Noah, 120. All right, Everest. Oh, yes. Lead the way, Everest. Lead the way. Uh, come on. Come on, boy. Through the doggy door. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go over. So, oh, hi, Perdita. I'm sorry about that again. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we have a few new creatures, but like I said, nothing crazy. Uh, it is uh, a mod called Mo Creatures. I figured it's been 100 episodes. I can go ahead and add it in. A lot of you guys have asked for it over uh, the course of the series, and I didn't really want to add it because uh, I wanted this to really be a unique uh, modded series and I think that we've done that and I hope that we get more dogs in the future I'm working on that as well uh, But I thought it would be fun to add woodland creatures creatures that should be here. This was an oddly Birdless. Oh, there's the bird over there. What's that bird doing? Uh, you know, you you should have birds and you should have like foresty kind of animals Do you oh you can fly kind of sort of I don't know. This bird's a little derpy. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, go see Dr. Nine Healer. I think that uh, that would be, I think that would be good for you. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. And now since we've already been living here for so long, I don't expect a lot of animals to spawn in this area. I think it'll be mostly if we go adventuring out more, uh, hopefully when there's new dogs out there to find. Uh, but there could be, there could be a few new animals. I want to see if there's any like, fish particularly because this is a big body of water right here do we see any fish everest i should have brought noah actually i shouldn't have brought noah because he would kill the <gasps> i saw a fish i see a fish right here look look at this we got a fish noah i mean not noah everest <laughs> it's a green fish isn't it cool oh my goodness uh all right so that's good to know that there are a few things spawning in i i imagine it'll take a while for things to really start spawning in uh okay everest if i remember correctly if i click you with a bone yep it puts you on my head <laughs> and i think that that's probably the best way uh to transport you to uh to bone mountain over there uh was it I can't even remember if I named it Mount Everest or Mount Roughmore. I think I named it Mount Roughmore. Uh, sorry, Everest. Uh, you can have, like, maybe this can be Mount Everest. Uh, I can't see because you're, you're kind of in the way. Uh, but maybe this is Mount Everest and then that's Mount Roughmore. Because there's two, there's two peaks here. Um, all right, let's see if I can grab this. Oh, 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 no, no. Why did our boat break? Is it because I was holding the bone? Uh, let's try this one more time, Everest. Up you go. Uh, there you go. All right. You're up on my head. And now I'm going to do this and get in a boat. Hopefully it's not too much weight. I think we got it. No! We broke again. We broke another boat. I think we weigh too much now with you on my head. Uh, let's try this one more time, Everest. Uh, sit up. Okay. Get Get on there. And then 
Uh, let's just kind of push this boat out a little bit so it doesn't hit anything. And there you go. In the boat. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're stuck. We're stuck. We're going to crash. <gasps> All right. You're just going to have to follow me, Everest. I'm sorry. I couldn't make it work, okay? I'm really sorry. It's not even that far. Oh, hi, tree sheep. It's not even that far. Oh, look at the fish. That's another fish. Look at that. Oh, they're spawning in now. That's a totally different kind of fish. Uh, this is exciting. All right, let's go ahead and go. Are you following me? Ever oh, you're sitting. Everest, why are you sitting? I didn't make you sit. Come on. You're, just keep up, okay? There you go. All right, let's go ahead and see. I'm sure that there's a way up here that I used to climb up. I, I can't believe it's been so long since I worked on this. I feel kind of bad uh, that I abandoned the project so quickly. But there were other things to do. There were other dogs to be rescued. Um, do we come up to it this way? Are there... Oh, oh, that's right. There's a cave there. Can we jump up here? I think I remember this. Uh, Evers, you're just going to have to teleport to me. And I think we're going to have to build scaffolding again because this is... This is honestly, like, how do you even have the perspective? You have to have scaffolding that comes quite a ways out. Uh, I remember, I think I, I did have a bridge that comes quite a ways out because otherwise you can't even really tell what you're working on. And I think that that's what became so kind of confusing about it. And I didn't bring any other blocks to... Well, I'm sure once I start mining things, I'll get a lot. But let's go ahead, I guess, and just kind of pillar out here. Uh, Everest, I should probably make you sit uh, soon because you could take a bit of a fall here. Let's come out because, yeah, we just have to get some perspective. It, it was an ambitious project. I will give it that. Uh, if it was just a solid mountain straight across, then that would be a little bit easier. You could just kind of cut an outline of a bone and then dig straight through. The problem with Bone Mountain is that one, it's at a bit of an like a diagonal here in the mountainside, and two, uh, you're dealing with a whole nother mountain behind it. Like, like see for example this area that's cut up out here. Um, then there's this whole mountain back here that's really behind it, but. When you're standing way back on the balcony, it looks like it's all one part of the mountain that's cut out. So it's a little bit of a, a depth perception issue as well that's going on uh, that makes it quite difficult uh, to, to do this. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and work on this a little bit. Um, probably a lot. Everest, sit down. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys uh, a bit later. <coughs> By the way, I brought my sleeping bag. Uh, there's Everest way down there. Look at how beautiful this is up here. The area looks so stunning down there. Uh, I brought my sleeping bag for just this occasion so that I could uh, work through the night and not have any... Can you imagine if creepers were up here? Actually, I could use them to blast out some of the area. Anyway, back to work. Does anyone remember my monster shadow? Oh, wait, it just went away. What? I had it for a minute. Yeah, I'm a monster. I don't know why. I'm back at the original spot where I had my monster shadow. Uh, most of the dogs have teleported to me now. Um, I've been doing this in a couple of different sessions. And I didn't have pork to feed them, and so a lot of them got bloody. I'm sorry, guys. 
I'm really so, I don't know if it was because they didn't have food or if it was because a couple of them were swimming in water too long. Uh, but I'm really sorry, guys. Anyway, I think I'm basically done. Uh, how do I get back? I wanted to kind of show you guys. I mean, there's really not much to see because it doesn't look... Uh, oh, wait. It's not... Is it... Uh, how do I get up here? I'm sorry, you guys are all bloody. I feel so bad. Um, can I get, can I get up here? Let me get up here. Although, really, we the big test now is just to go back to my balcony. I've gone back a couple times to kind of see it from there because that's really the only place that it matters if it looks like a bone. It definitely doesn't look like a bone uh, from up here. I will tell you that much. It it doesn't look like a bone at all. Uh, this is, this is essentially Bone Mountain right here. Uh, and don't ask me how. This over here, uh, the hardest area to get right was actually this right here. Uh, over there. That was what the hardest part was. Um, and then this pillar here kind of makes part of it round. I think it's gonna look okay. It's not gonna look maybe the best. Ah! No! No! Yeah. I'm okay, guys. I'm okay. Let's swim home. Uh, come on, guys. You guys can rest. I'm really, really sorry that that happened to you. Uh, oh, wait. No peeking. No peeking. It doesn't look like a bone from here, I promise. I was hoping that it would look like a bone from the Dopgark, uh, but I don't go to the Dopgark that often. Uh, not as often as I'm on my balcony, so I think that that's, a, that's the important place that it needs to look good from. Are you guys all swimming behind me? Come on, guys. Oh, wait. Don't look. Don't look at the bone. Don't look at the bone. Uh, it's going to look much better uh, when we get up to uh, to our room. Who's crying now? Oh, they're all just crying. I don't have... Oh, you know what? Here. Let's go kill uh, some pigs. I'm sorry to do this, guys. I'm really, really sorry. There you go. There you go. Oh, come here. And I don't think I didn't see you over here. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, oh, Enderman. Ah, no, no. Is that Noel? Uh, all right, let's go ahead and grab. Uh, we've got five pork chops now. So who needs a pork chop? Oh, it's Everest. There you go. Uh, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and hop on up. I want to go and see if the bone actually looks like a bone. Um, but maybe I'll leave you guys... I don't want crying in my video, no offense. So maybe I'll sit you guys down here uh, in the bark. Um, there you go, Basil, Noah. Oh no, rain! No, not rain! All right, Everest, come with me. Let's come and uh, let's go up onto the balcony. Oh, I don't want it to rain, but I didn't want to sleep just yet. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and come up here. I wanted to kind of uh, reminisce, if you will. <gasps> it's a bone! Look at it! Oh, it looks even better than I thought it would look like! <gasps> I did it! I can't believe I did it! I honestly did not think that I would be able to do it. When I think back originally to the world of Dogcraft and how far it has come, uh, this was definitely... Uh, it's exceeded all of my expectations. I remember when I first started out with my first dog. Hi, Mom. <gasps> what? How did this happen? Yay! Hi! I have a Dalmatian. It was meant to be. So I want to show you guys what I have done so far. I've cleared off. Uh, a little bit of land around here so that I can start building. I've also made a little pen, a uh, larger pen for my cows. I have one over there for pigs too, if I ever get pigs. Oh no, the dogs! My main house, I'm actually going to put over here and I've cleared some land right here. This is where I wanna put my main house because I'm going to have a balcony and I don't think I can get up quite high enough, but listen, this is the view. Wow. That's the view that I want to have of my whole farm and my whole area. And then my dog place will be over here. It'll be great. 
I'm not sure if this will be the finished design. It feels very Noah's Ark right now, uh, which I guess is appropriate because I'm going to try to get uh, two of each dog. This is um, this is definitely a uh, a predicament here. I don't really know what. Oh, I took a screenshot. Why not? This is a memorable moment uh, on Dogcraft, uh, trying to rescue this little guy. <gasps> I found wolves! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I found wolves. <gasps> wolf baby! <gasps> it's so cute! Look at it! <laughs> Let's go, guys! There you are! Gotcha, Paige! Oh, Paige, you look so pretty! You are going to be Wink. So Tucker, Basil, Wink, Noah, and Everest. I think that those are perfect names for the wolves. Ta-da! Here it is, my finished house, or as I like to call it, my apartment. Here I will give you the grand tour. Wink! You're bloody! What happened to you? I'm gonna try giving him a bone. Oh! Oh, what? Wait a minute. What? I gave him the bone, and he's now on top of my head. I did not know that that was a thing. Um, I can now walk around with Wink on top of my head. Huh. Um, I'm not sure why I would need this to happen. So in today's episode, I thought I would do something a little fun. I want to make a balcony here. And now look how beautiful. We can uh, come out here in the daytime and uh, take a look around. Isn't it wonderful, Wink? Isn't it beautiful? Let's bring them over into the house. All right, so this is going to be your new home. <gasps> look at how cute it is! It's going to be Jasper, which is all fitting for uh, what we want to do because Jasper is a character in 101 Dalmatians, and so that is what I'm going to do on this space. That was always the plan. Why I built my house out of these birch uh, logs is because it looks like a Dalmatian. So we're going to name 99 puppies. As usual, I bit off a bit more than I could chew in this episode. So I think that this project is going to uh, span over multiple episodes of this series. It's going to be a dog bone uh, cut into the shape of the, uh, the mountain. Uh, which I think will be really, really pretty. And then uh, eventually I want to change this uh, this pond out here. How cool would it be if I'm here in my bed and out there there's a big uh, dog bone uh, in the side of the mountain? All right. <laughs> so let's go. Did you see Addison teleport to me sitting down and Wink is here now too? Very, very odd. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do what I wanted to do. Who are you? Who are you, random Dalmatian? Uh, what, are those, are those scorpions? Okay, we've got some tweaking to do, I think, with the, uh, the mod, because, uh, there's no scorpions in dog craft. Addison, no wonder you teleported. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep. And we can see, da uh, well, I don't think we're going to be able to see Mount Ruffmore because of the rain. You can kind of see its outline there. We need like a, a bolt of lightning or something to be able to really see it. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to see it. All right, let's just go ahead and try, let's try sleeping. Oh, no, you can't see it. But there it is in the daytime. I guess that'll have to do for now. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to see it. Oh, I wanted to see it at sunset, but I guess actually we'll be able to see it pretty much every every morning and every night now in Dogcraft. It, I mean, it really is. I kind of want to fill in maybe that little cave down at the bottom and kind of fill in some of these holes now that are like caves. Uh, but wow, I'm proud of it. I did it, guys. I created Mount Ruffmore. It's finally done. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching 100 episodes of Dogcraft. I really can't believe how far we've come, and I'm really, really excited uh, to keep, keep building. So until next time, 
Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. Okay, that's a wrap. Uh, now, wait a minute, though. I'm actually really kind of concerned about these scorpions. Huh. That's not going to be good. <laughs>